you ever wanted to check if your iPhone is new, refurbished, or replacement, this video is going to go through and teach you just that. Show you exactly how to check multiple ways so you can figure that out for yourself. First, let's go over a few things of what this means. New basically means it's brand new. You purchased it from Apple or someplace related to Apple and the device has never been used by anybody else. Next, we have replacement. That means there was a problem with this device. This device has been opened up and serviced and worked on. Not sure how long it was used. It could have been used for a while, but it is now working now. There's usually no warranty on replacements. And lastly, refurbished. Refurbished is lightly used iPhones fixed by Apple with a one year warranty. So these are a step up. So it basically goes new, then refurbished, then replacement in that order. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin, helpfultutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We would love to have you. With all that said, let's go ahead and check how to figure this out. First, we need to go and get into the area with all the extra numbers. I'll show you exactly what I mean. On the iPhone, you want to go ahead and choose settings. And then you want to go to general. And then choose about. Here will give you some information about your phone. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do it by serial number first. So now we have the serial number on the screen. We're going to go to this website. It's checkcoverage.apple.com. I'll also have it down below so you could just click the link. It's going to say enter your serial number. I've already entered it. Then there's going to be a validation code just so people don't spam this. Once you have it, go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to bring up your phone. So shows here iPhone X, my serial number, and it shows it's a valid purchase date. A valid purchase date lets Apple quickly find your product and provides the help you need. So it's also saying my telephone technical support is expired and my repair and service coverage is expired. So this is good information, but it doesn't always give you everything you need. So with that, we're going to go back to the iPhone and talk more about another number, the model number. So you'll see the model number here and it is MQA and a bunch more. And basically the first letter you're concerned about is the M. So there's four different letters that it could be. One is M, which stands for new device from Apple. Easy enough. So if you see the M, you're good. It's a brand new device. Great. Other letters that could be is F. If it's an F for Frank, that means it's a refurbished device. So it was lightly used and fixed by Apple. So you will also get a one year limited warranty with these. So F is basically a not brand new, but you know, one step down. Next you have N, which is a replacement device by Apple. Basically it was serviced, it was repaired. It could have had a bigger issue and it could have been heavily used before it was fixed. So replacement ones are the ones you want to question if you're trying to buy a phone new. Finally, you have P for personalized engraving, which is not a big thing. It basically just means the phone was personally engraved. So those are the model numbers. I'll put them on the screen again. Again, it's only the first letter and you want to make sure it starts with an M, F, N, or P, because it'll be one of those and it'll be right above the serial number. So I hope this helped get everything figured out for you so you know exactly what you're looking for. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you so much for the view. It means a lot.